Hi everybody, so this is going to be your daily message for August 4th, 2020. I'm doing a video. It's been a while. And no, this is not a TikTok video where I'm dancing and singing and grooving. We are going to get down to the bottom of these messages for you. Um, the first message that I'm picking up for you guys, and remember, take these messages as they resonate with you. Practice discernment, use your intuition. It's going to be different for one, from one person to another. If you need a personal reading about your personal situation, please do reach out through my uh, website or you can DM me if this is on Instagram or you can just reach out wherever you are. So the first message, like I was saying, what is preventing you from feeling good? So I see that it's difficult to feel good and this message did come up I believe last week with the same card deck super attractor um, I'm feeling relationships okay so what's preventing you from feeling good here is something that is still lingering in your past something that relates to your past release your ex it's time to clear out your energy okay so for some of you, you might be saying yeah but am i don't you know i don't talk to my ex i don't I'm, I'm not really involved in any type of ex situation yes but you're still holding on to something about that relationship okay so subconsciously there's certain issues that you have still not dealt with okay so this might be one of the red flags. This might be one of the uh, blockages that is preventing you from moving forward. Like I said, you're not, you're stuck. Okay. There's a lot of messages here that relate to being stuck, being stuck in the same energies. Whether you are currently with someone or not, you're stuck in an old energy. Status quo. And look at this at the bottom of the deck from this quantum oracle stuck energy we are stuck we are not moving forward we do not want to see that there is another way out now this had to do with a long-term commitment some for some of you you were married right now as we move along with the spread towards this side so I'm getting two messages here the first message is that your friends or colleagues, basically your inner circle. It could be family, it could be anybody, basically. They're trying to get you to move forward, okay? So some, some of the people in your life can be influencing you in a positive way, whereas others, I feel, are blocking you, okay? Because there's, they're also in a very stagnant energy where things don't move forward, where they don't um, allow themselves to see another way of being and of thinking. Okay, so these are belief systems. These are perceptions that are being challenged in a way and you're still hanging out with people, places and things that are encouraging you to stay like this. Where nothing is happening, nothing is changing. As you can see in the card, it's nobody's even outside. There's no action, there's no life, it's just stuck, right? So there is underlying fear, right? We have fear, anxiety of what's to come. Now, like I was saying, friends and colleagues want to get you to move forward. The travel card, for me, is we're moving forward, we are picking up and we're going. Literally or symbolically, metaphorically, right? Because let's be honest, we're not really doing any long distance travel for now, local traveling from one city or one town to another. But someone here maybe has to move, maybe has to move out. I'm feeling some of you need to move out of your parents' house if you're still living with parents. This is what's keeping you in the status in the status quo energy. Some of you are allowing family members to keep you tied and bonded enmeshed in fear and stuck energy i mean our family could be good people but that doesn't mean that we need to constantly be in their energy fields that's you know we want to try to set the proper boundaries so this is what i'm getting for that combination of cards 
For some of you, you might be meeting someone in a circle of friends. Someone might be traveling to you, might be arriving. Someone maybe might have been hired at your job, at your workplace. I'm feeling that for some of you. And you might feel a connection to this person. But you're not allowing yourself to feel the connection, right? Because you're still hanging on to old energies. So that's another message I'm getting. Again, please take the messages as they resonate with you. It's been a while since I've done a daily message video like this. Ooh, we're going to get... I'm not feeling those cards. We're going to get maybe two Oracle cards. There we go. Okay, so the first card, guys, that we're going to finish this daily message reading with passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you and at present. Enjoy it. Somebody finds you attractive, seductive, magnetic. There's a magnetic pull. But are you allowing yourself to be in that vibration? Again, some of you are not, I'm feeling. You're still holding on to maybe what an ex uh, thought of you or set still is running through your mind. Okay, so there's, but there's something about you that is very attractive, but maybe you're not embracing it fully. This is embracing the divine feminine goddess energy. And I know mostly women are watching me here. So I am speaking to the divine feminines. If you are a male, well, how are you not embracing that feminine in you? Because, sorry to say, we're all made up of male and female energies. So, as we continue with more water here, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. What's causing you to not feel good? Go within. If something is keeping you trapped in the status quo. Things are not improving. Things are just not moving, right? But people around you are definitely influencing you, whether that's in a negative or positive way, or there's someone that's coming in, probably even moving to your town or whatever, temporarily coming to fulfill a position at work, whatever, take the messages as they resonate. And this can bring a you know, passionate, magnetic connection here. There's something here that's opening up for some of you. However, if you're not going to look and see what's causing you to feel that disconnect. And then we have reflection at the bottom of the deck. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. This is another message for some of you. Giving each other some space. Like I said, giving each other some space here. Who do you need to take a step back from? Like I said, it could be different. It could be friends, family, an ex, people that you're interacting with, connecting with, speaking to. I don't know. There's someone here that you, or a group of people here that you need to take a step back from and reflect and see what is causing you to stay in this rut. So with that being said, guys, I'm wishing you all a beautiful day and I will see you on the next one. Take care.